Hi guys, it's Barbie Rocks, and today I have such a cool video because we are going to be introducing you to the original vintage Barbie family. Before I begin, I want to give a shout out to Melanie. Melanie Blair, you know who you are, and uh, she has made a personal request for me to talk a little bit more about early vintage Barbies. And so today's video, we are going to jump right in and I am going to introduce you to Barbie and her family. So let's get started, guys. Before we begin, let's get the props in. Once the props are in, we are going to roll. Now, the first thing that had taken place was Ruth Handler, who was the designer of the one and only infamous Barbie. Now, Barbie is was created in 1959 by Ruth Handler, who is the creator, and shared it with her husband, Elliot. Together, they worked on the creator creation of Barbie herself and I have a 1959 Barbie she is sporting one of the vintage collector dresses which is called the enchanted evening number three eight three and it features a pink satin gown with ruching on the sides of Barbie's dress and it's helped by a beautiful little rosette which matches the pink satin gown so she is looking wonderful and of course she is wearing your vintage white mule pumps and for those who are collecting you want to get the authentic genuine mule pumps because it has the sturdiness the classic elegance to support the doll and the dress. So that was Barbie. Now, Ruth Handler had named Barbie after her daughter, Barbara. That's a really great historical fact. And next on the scene came Barbie's boyfriend. Barbie's boyfriend is none other than Ken. Again, Ken was named after Ruth Handler's On the scene came Ken, and Ken was named after her son, Ken. And Ken came on the scene in 1961. And he is sporting a vintage Jacksman outfit, number 0789. For those of you who want to add one of these this two-piece ensemble which vintage Ken is wearing with a beautiful sort of knitted cotton jersey underneath. Now this Ken doll has painted, um, painted hair but he has a beautiful face mold and as collectors we're always looking at the specific face molds. He's wonderful and he is boy, uh, Barbie's boyfriend who was introduced in 1961 along with Barbie who came in 1959. Well, Barbie couldn't live life without a boyfriend. I mean, everybody needs a boyfriend, don't they? All right, so I'm going to place some in the bottom seat here and I am going to continue introducing Barbie's family. Now, Barbie needed a best friend and here comes Midge. Midge came on the scene, appears on the scene as Barbie's best friend. And here is Midge and she has the freckled face and curls at the bottom of her hair 
and she is sporting one of the collector pieces that you can add to your collection I believe is sorority um, here she is this is Midge and along with Midge what does Midge need Midge needs a boyfriend and up on the scene we have is vintage Alan so Alan comes on the scene and here is Alan's ensemble. He is wearing a fun on ice outfit number May, uh, which introduced in 1963, but Ken himself came on the scene in 1960. And here he is. And you're gonna look for the black and white label tags on your outfits when you are collecting vintage, because these black and white labels, let me just show you what it looks like, are very, very, uh classic to knowing that you have a collector's piece from the 1960s so that is a really good piece of information you might want to look into but here is here is alan fun on ice ensemble i think he looks ravishing with his brown light corduroys and ice skates all right that is our alan doll And next on the scene after Ellen, which I forgot to mention, which is Barbie's, none other than Barbie's sister. Now, Skipper was introduced on the scene with Barbie as Barbie's little sister. Skipper came in 1964. And here is Skipper. Now there are two versions of Skippers. I, this is the vintage Skipper, which was introduced um, in 1964. Shows so she's the earlier Skipper. And this is a Skipper that came in, was released a little bit later because she has the bend legs. Like you can actually, she has the ability to bend and flex her legs. So it's more of um, skin tone, sort of rubber configuration. And, but she is absolutely beautiful. Um, you can see her bright, uh, beautiful face. She is also a vintage skipper. And I've got her in some turquoise plaits. And then we have the original skipper, which came in on the scene in 1964. So this doll, I was really, really lucky to thrift. I, I so great to find her out there. And I think she looks great. And here she is sporting her red original flats. And what's really great about Vin uh, Skipper's shoes are they are nice and flat, as you can see. And they're really easy to pull, put on and off the dolls. They just fit so nice. They're uh, engineered and artistically designed to fit Skipper's feet relatively nicely. So whether they're toy turquoise shoes or red shoes, you want to find the flat heels, which um, Skipper is known for. Now, Skipper in 1963 did not have, uh, 64, sorry, did not have the articulations at the knee joints. They had the straight leg and no articulation, no twists and turning on this body. It's just a straight body. Um, I'm wondering if I can actually show you how the back looks and how it was was relatively designed I, I I'm really interested in how the the doll molds were produced and designed and that sort of um interests me but here she is she is part of the wonderful Barbie original family moving right along Melanie has requested that we talk a little bit about Vintage Christy and Vintage Brad. She was really interested in finding about a little bit more information on these two wonderful, wonderful dolls. So here is Vintage Brad and Vintage Christy. And they came, Christy came on the scene in around 1968 to 1971. Brad himself came on the scene in the 1960s. Brad is this and she is delightful. Now, I'm gonna hold them up together because don't you guys agree there? Agree that the two of them make a wonderful pair. 
Now with these two face molds, Christy, she has the same body type as Barbie. So we look at this body type and we're gonna pull up Barbie. They both have the same body types so that the clothing that was put on Barbie could transfer onto Christy and they would fit each other's clothes. They were very interchangeable, but her face was a new design. And let's look at the face of Barbie and let's compare it to the face of Christy. Now, as we can see, oh, let's find the best angle here. As we can see, Christy has a very, very different face sculpt than Barbie herself. She, look at Barbie's nose and then look at Christy's nose. Look at the way that the lips were actually designed. It's a completely different face mold. But her face was a, a new design intended to highlight the facial features of black women. Many consider Christy to be the first black white Christy and was part of a series of talking dolls. And after the introduction of uh, Christy dolls and your Ken dolls, they were introduced as the first two African American dolls to be produced by the doll company for friends to accompany Barbie, which led to an entire line of black, Hispanic, and Asian companions for Barbie. So the two introductions with this was fascinating, the history of Barbie and vintage Barbies, because with Barbie, introducing the two African-American dolls led to a lot of other inclusive Hispanic and Asian companions. So that's a great piece of history to know with the introductions of Brad and Christy dolls. And this is our iconic Barbie. She is something that people are gonna cherish throughout history. No matter how old, matter how young or how old you are, we love Barbies. So that is my little session on my introduction to these wonderful dolls. I've just set up one of the vintage doll houses for these dolls and I am just going to display them up in the corner here and we are just going to have a great afternoon enjoying our dolls and spreading love with one doll at a time. So from Barbie Rocks I hope you love this video, Melanie. This is a shout out to you, Melanie, and hope you enjoyed this little session on vintage Barbies. So it's a bye for now from Barbie Rocks. Stay safe, health, and happy, and we'll see you all in the next video, guys. Bye for now.